today. Today um, is our first time on ESPNU, actually. Uh, we have Minnesota coming in, and most importantly, we are debuting our team's theme, which is enough. We had a video that was put out about it, um, just released on Twitter. This year, as everybody knows, is so tough. It's been hard with COVID, all of the social justice movements, and we just feel like we have such a large platform that it was too big to ignore. Most importantly, it was written by the team, mainly Claire Kaji. I think it was my sophomore year where our logo or team slogan that year was I am enough, which just means in a sport that strives for perfection, Larissa wanted us to know that it's okay not to be perfect and that we are enough. Um, and so that's the first part of the enough, that we are enough, and we kind of learned that um, two years ago. Just letting other people know that we've had enough of what's going on. Uh, things that have been disregarded, ignored, pushed under the rug for so long, like just no more of that. And I've seen a lot that silence is being complicit, and that's absolutely true. So we're making noise about these issues. There's actions that like, we've been taking since the summer, having those conversations and just coming up with different ways of getting to know each other on a deeper level. We have spent a lot of heartbreaking talks and moments and um, lots of questions and we've just had enough. Everybody, it's been talked about for years. We're still in the same situation. How is that even possible? What's important to us when our athletes walk away from our program is that they know who they are in their entire team. What they are without gymnastics, without everything else, is enough. So we incorporated everything. How did we get the social justice and how we feel about ourselves and the world? It's all encompassing for us with enough. We've had enough. It is enough. We are enough. Behind me, we've got the volleyball squad going on. So they play pretty much every day before practice and also before meets. And if they get a certain number, then they predict what score we're going to get at the meets. Is this the secret to your high ranking this year? Oh, for sure, for sure. They've really come through for us. <laughs> what is the score they have to get and what does it predict? I think they bump it up every time. And if they get that, then they say, oh, we'll get a 196, whatever. So. I think they've been pretty spot on with a lot of their predictions. So they're like kind of like weathermen, but like with scores, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I would be doing gymnastics if I didn't love the sport. I've been doing it for, I don't even know how old I am, 22 years old now. So close to 20 years of my life. I think my love for it grew as I went to college. I was on the elite team in Canada before college, so it was very strict. Um, I feel like gymnastics is still a very conservative sport, but college has made it exciting. and It's so empowering here that you kind of just feel comfortable, you know? You feel comfortable in learning more about yourself. And I, I'm not the same person that I was my freshman year. I was very shy, uh, very introverted, but I know that I'm weird, and I'm not afraid to show it anymore. And it's really made my time here so rewarding. I think one of the key ingredients for success with this team is they are who they are and they're so comfortable with who they are and that is them in practice and then they bring that to the meet too. My name is Kendall LaPlante. Um, I'm a freshman but I actually just graduated from high school about uh, two months ago. So I moved up here December 26th. They made me feel like family the second I got here. I came in in the middle of the season. Nobody even knew until a week before I came and it just, it clicked. This team is incredible. They are, they're, they're the total package. They make every day really count. To see it come together for them on the gym floor, it just, I don't know, it just couldn't make me more proud. So. Every time I talk about it, I want to cry. They are the greatest team, in my opinion, obviously. One, two, three, one, two, three, ah! What normally goes on? So you guys are just all chilling on your phones, singing music. Yeah. What do you call yourselves? Uh, it's like the chill squad. The chill the squad. Yeah. Yeah. The volleyball the, squad out there, the, the chill squad in here. Yeah. We've been jamming to High School Musical recently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Or some Hannah Montana. Yeah, or Hannah Montana. Yeah. Some good throwbacks. A big fan of that. That's true. Uh, no. Is there any like one song that the whole team can agree on, or do you guys just agree to disagree? Okay. Ciao. 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 Like, Ciao. Ciao. Oh. A yeah. classic. TikTok. Oh. The dances. Happy <laughs> pleasure. To it. Yeah. Good to it. Yeah. We do a TikTok before every meet, me and her. Aww. Do you guys follow gymnastics? Like, are you guys oh, gymnastics absolutely. fans? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. on Twitter. On our way home from our first meet, what? we had finished our meet <laughs> and it was late. And on our bus ride back to Iowa City, we had five and a half hours and we watched gymnastics on TV. <laughs> <laughs> like, the first thing we turned on was more college gymnastics. Yeah. Do you guys have like a favorite team? This is my favorite team. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. Good. Yeah. Good. Honestly, Arkansas is killing it this year. What's it like to now be a top 10 team? It's pretty cool. It just like so special like we've put in so much work for this especially like over the years like I feel like we've had the potential to do it so like we're just actually putting it together this year which is like amazing so hot tubbing because I need to keep my Achilles warm and my calves just so I'm ready to go for the warm up. Yeah. <laughs> Last year um, in December, two weeks out from our first meet, I tore my Achilles. I went through the whole recovery process and it got me back and better than ever and yeah, I'm honestly just happy to be here. <laughs> I do some vlogs for the team. Perfect. Subscribe to Aaron K. Castle on YouTube. <laughs> and what's going on today? Um, big meet versus Minnesota. We're ranked number 10, they're ranked number 11, so it's gonna be like a tight matchup. And we're on ESPNU. What are your expectations? Um, to win. <laughs> oh, we're so excited. I think we're just ready to show people that we're underrated. They keep pushing the envelope. They have a good, like, overall look of where they are and where they wanna go. And then they zoom in on the daily grind to get there too. The highest ranking Iowa Gymnastics has gotten in the first um, first week is 11th, and we broke that this year by being ninth. Just seeing those scores and seeing that ranking is again rewarding because I know our team has been so talented, but we've never really been able to have a chance to show that in the first couple meets because we haven't come out of the gate strong. What's changed? The conversation. We changed. Not necessarily our mindset, because it's always been the same, but we started verbalizing things, having conversations that just, we thought were understood, like it was a common understanding instead of putting it into words. So we started having those difficult conversations that it's gonna be uncomfortable, but in the end, we really grew closer to each other. Like you know your teammates, but when you know someone's mental and like what they go through, it. It brings you together on a very different level. In a time when we quarantined and we were social distance, we found a way to keep each other in check. We really had to be conscious of those relationships, especially this year, and it really paid off. What is it like to kind of like see yourself finally in the rankings, probably in a place that you're like, we belong there? It's incredible. I mean, from being a student athlete and hoping for that and striving for that and for it to come together, especially for this team is, I mean, their gymnastics is incredible. Um, they have just an incredible amount of difficulty and they're secure in their skills, but even more is them as people. They are just incredible human beings. So to see that come together for, for them is just so fulfilling. Yeah, we do argue. We argue a lot about like a lot of foods. It's really weird. They have seeds in them. They do? Oh, that makes it even worse. <laughs> That's why they're so big. But they're delicious. You like red grapes. grapes. You no, like red grapes. grapes. I like grapes. I'm gonna have to be a fan sitter on this one. I really don't have a preference on green or red grapes, just seedless. It is really weird. Yesterday we had the argument on whether strawberry cream cheese or regular cream cheese was better. Do you like vanilla yeah, or chocolate frosty better though? Ooh, that's I, I think I like vanilla. Culver's. I'm gonna go to Culver's. Culver's is good. Oh, Culver's has the custard. The custard. How do you guys get a free ice cream? I can pass it to 12 girls. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. But not now, you on ESPN today, so mm -hmm. I just saw you on TV. <laughs> so that was my older sister. <laughs> and they're not arguments, but you know, little bickerings about- Heated discussions? Who, yes. She's kind of cool, I know. <laughs> I still want to forget. <laughs>
please focus on actually being in control when you land. I just felt like I needed to say, tell you that. <laughs> so, yeah, you. All right. <laughs> okay. Good Good gets in a circle, power circle, and then the competitor, we go in line up order, they'll, they'll go through their cues, and the whole team is watching, cheering, just like it would, they would for me. I don't know, when I'm watching, I envision them doing it, and it, I think it's also good for the team to hear that competitor's cues, so that they know what that person needs in that moment. I know, I get butterflies when they do power circle. I'm like, oh yes, game on, let's go. So I think it does kind of get everyone together and in that meat mentality. Yeah. Wow, one well giant. Good, good.